Welcome everybody to today's live. So today we're going to be talking about your body and how your body might actually be tuning in to other people, into their body, into the different realities that they are tuned into and how to, how to really change that and to tune into your own body. Hello Han, welcome. Hi everybody. Let me know where you're all joining me from. For those of you on Facebook, let me know if you can hear me okay. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about bodies. So first of all, our body has many amazing capacities that you are probably not aware of. And within the body, we have spirit energy. Within our cells, we have ATP, which is spirit energy. This spirit energy has created everything and is a part of everything. So that means that the same spirit energy that is in your body is in my body and in everybody else's. But that spirit energy also runs through... Hi, Saka. Thank you. Runs through everything, everything that has been created. So we are able to tap into that spirit energy and use that to our advantage to assist us in different things in our daily life and also in creating what it is you would like to create for your body. If your body is feeling vibrant, light, happy, and most of the time at least, then you're connected to your spirit. But if you are feeling pain, density, heaviness, your, your body's not really... Uh, connected to the spirit or connected very well to the spirit so this is something that needs to be looked at so why your body might not be why you might be disconnected from yourself and from your body it can be different things it can be you've disconnected due to trauma so one response to trauma is you actually disconnected from yourself from your body maybe you haven't left the body you know what happens when we leave the body we have a tendency to absorb a lot of energy so it's like we become this sponge bob so we need to really start to get back in touch with the body and you can ask the body questions like what would you like to do today what would you like to wear today where would you like to go where would you like to live whatever it is you'd like to ask so it's really important that on a daily basis you take your body into consideration and you start to operate your life in a different way where you're in communication with your body and seeing what your body wants, what your body needs and including it in everything. And when you do that, you're going to start to re uh, operate in a very different way in your life. So... The other thing is, is you can use your body to create things. So if you think about it, you know, source energy, spirit, spirit energy is within you. And this energy has created you, it's created everything, and it can change and create anything. So you can actually ask the, the, the spirit energy within your body to assist you in creating things that you'd like to create in your life. But before you can really do that very well, you need to first start to connect to the body, see what's going on with the body, and communicate with the body. And if you struggle to hear the body, it's probably because you're disconnected to it or you're carrying a lot of toxicity, limitations, pain, which might be your own, or it might be somebody else's. So a lot of people are not tuned into their body. Instead, they're tuned into their mind and they're choosing based on their the limitations within their mind but actually they're also tuned in to other people's limitations that means they're tuned into other people's pain heaviness density and whatever else is going on for them so you have to change that and to really get back in touch with your body and working with your body you have to start to detox what your body is carrying so you're able to hear it properly so when you ask your body questions, you'll get awarenesses, you can get answers, but also if you were to say something to your body like, where would you like to go? Where would you like to live? What would you like to eat? Actually, because you're engaging with that spirit energy within the body, the spirit energy through all things starts to open up pathways for you to create that. 
So you might come across something that you'd like to wear, something that you'd like to do, because it's actually creating it for you. And that means then that you can use your body as a tool to create possibilities in all areas of your life, including your business, including your relationships, including money. So the first thing that you have to do is get in touch with the body. So I'd like you to just close your eyes, sit back, relax, take a really nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Take another nice deep breath in. And breathe out. So continue to take nice deep breaths in and out because this helps you to really unlock stuff that is locked into your body. And then I want you to say to your body to awaken and activate the spirit energy within it. And then I'd like you to just become aware that your body is made of spirit energy. You might see this or feel this as molecules of light pulsating. And I'd like you to become aware that the chair or the bed or the sofa, whatever you're sitting on, it also has this light running through it. it is made of this spirit energy. So I'd like you to connect to your molecules, to become one with the chair or the bed. And then you become aware that the entire room and everything in it is made of the spirit energy. So you expand all the way up to the ceiling, down to the floor, and in every direction to become one with the entire room. And then you become aware that the whole country and everything and everyone in it is made of the spirit energy. So you expand out to become one with the spirit energy with everything in your surroundings, nature, people, buildings, the land, the sea, the lakes, the waterfalls. And then you expand out even further to become one with the continent that you're in. And then you expand all the way up towards the North Pole down towards Australia, New Zealand, across Europe, America, Central America, South America, Africa, everywhere. You become one with the entire planet. Then you become aware that the space around the planet is made of this light, so you continue to expand in every direction, becoming one with the space around the planet stars, the planets, and you continue to expand in every direction, to become one with everything, the spirit energy within everything. So from this space, I'd like you to put your awareness on your body and just say to your body, body, how are you feeling? And stay present with it and see what comes through. We're going to ask that anything not allowing you to be able to hear your body, what it requires, what it needs, how it feels. We're going to start to clear out the limitations, the perspectives, the perceptions, the energy, the density that is blocking the communication channels. Cancel resolve, dissolve, choose what you see from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So ask your body, body, how are you feeling? What is it that you need from me? It feels comfortable, uncomfortable to be connecting to your body. There's something you're probably avoiding. So you can ask yourself, what is it that I'm avoiding? And all things in the way of you having clarity on that. Hi, Teresa. Cancel, resolve, dissolve, choose for choose either from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So ask your body, are you carrying and tuning in to other people's 
pain, suffering, limitations. Whose pain, suffering and limitations are you carrying? At what age did you take those on and why? I'm going to say that again. Buddy, are you tuning in to other people's pain, suffering and limitations? Everything that does not allow you to have clarity in regards to that and anything that does not allow you to know what is yours and what is not yours. Perhaps some of you have been carrying so many things that have been with you so long that they feel like they are you. Let's come to resolve to resolve choose what you do from the source point on all levels of your being AWS precisely. So ask your body, what limitations are you carrying? Whose limitations are you carrying? Everything in the way of you having clarity. Let's come to resolve dissolve, choose what you see from the source point on all levels of your being AWS precisely. Why? And at what age did you take these on? You can be tuning in to many different things. Now you can say to your body, why did I learn to tune out of you and tune into others? All things in the way of you having clarity on that, let's come to resolve, dissolve. Choose what you do from the source point on all levels of your being, A, W, S, precisely. So your body is like a tuning fork and the cells of your body communicate with other people. You can be picking up on their pain. You might be picking up on their money issues, their money limitations. You may have even took that on. So that means if you're tuning into that, imagine a radio and you're listening to that and you're picking up on the frequencies. So what you're going to find is that is always in your head. That is always what, what you're thinking. Then you're going to probably make choices based on that. And those choices are going to be fear-based choices. So what is that going to create for you? Let's ask your body to show you the truth and all things in the way of that. Can we cancel resolve desire truth voices you from the source point on all levels of your being at AWS? I see. So say, body, what limitations, pain and suffering am I tuning into? See what comes through. Pop it in the chat for me. What limitations and whose limitations? And at what age? Did this occur? You might be tuning in, but you might have already took on. So if you've took on the limitations, the pain, the suffering, the density, that is good. You're good. that's going to be in your body. That is going to be in your mind, and you're going to live and choose based on that. So that means you are creating your life and your reality based on other people's limitations. Hi, Michelle. So all the ways you're doing that, can we cancel resolve, dissolve, choose what you do from the source point? on all levels of your being AWS precisely. So whose limitations and what limitations are you tuning into? And what age did that occur and why? Pop it in the chat. You know, another question to ask is, let's give you a second to ask that first. Why did I tune out of me? Why did I tune out of my body and dial into other people and their reality? Because when you're dialing into other people and their reality and their limitations, it's like, in a way, if you think about it, you've disconnected from yourself and within yourself and within your body is a spirit energy. The spirit energy is source. So the answers to everything that you require in order to change any issue, any pain, any disease, any problem in your life actually lie within you. But what we do is we turn to other people when we are tuned into them and tuned into their reality. And when we have been entrained to believe that others know better, we give our power away. So in a way, it's like they become the god of our reality. So all of that can we cancel resolve desire choose which is it from the source point. On all levels of your being, AWS precisely. Looking at some of the comments, age four. So what happened at age four? Ask your body. 
Everything that does not allow you to know, wherever it be now, so now it's because of results, is actually what you did upon the source point. All levels of your being, age of your sight, you, age three, are tuned out for fear and safety. Okay. What were you trying to escape at age three that made you tune out of your body? Ask that question and let me know. And all things in the way of you having clarity can we cancel or resolve these objects which you did it from the source point on all levels of your being a w s precisely so all the ways you have all been entrained in any way any place any time through family through media through school through religion wherever absolutely anywhere to tune out of you and to tune into others and to give your power away to trust others but not trust yourself can we cancel resolve dissolve just which is it from the source point on all levels of your being a w s i c so part of that is also learning how can i trust my body more so you can actually just you know say to your body body how can i trust you more can you help me the body starts to uh, open up pathways for that to occur because your body has huge power your body has huge untapped capacities and abilities it can help you to create and change anything. Sometimes we turn parts of our body off because something occurred that was too painful to, to know, to feel, to deal with. So it was easier to disconnect from myself and tune in and dial into others. So all that, let's kind of resolve disasters, which is it from the source point and all levels of your being, AWS precisely. Okay, so a few of you have a couple of uh, comments that are similar. I realize I'm not enough to be took care of. Okay, is that a truth? Because you say it like it's a truth, and a two-year-old child would probably believe it's a truth. But actually, it's not a truth. That's your interpretation of something that occurred, that at age two, you internalized. And it sounds like you felt like it was your fault, but it wasn't. So what happens? at age two, when there was no one there to take care of you. Another one is not being seen by my mother and not living, not being taken care of, okay? So then what did you learn you have to do or be in order to be took care of, in order to survive, in order to be seen, in order to be heard? That involves you giving up yourself, giving up your awareness, giving up your connection to your body. Ask that. And all things in the way of you having clarity, because a result is all just what you see from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. Okay, so, so one other question is therefore not living is a comment. So whose life are you living? Are you living your mother's? Are you living someone else's life? You know, how much are you so, so tuned into them that it's like you're living their life? And what if, you know, some of you, I'll come back to that. I'm going to lose my train of thought. I'm going to go in like five different directions. Let me know what comes up. I had a lot of physical abuse as a child. Okay. All right. So did you leave your body? And what is the gain in not being connected to the body? And based on the abuse that you experienced, what perception did you form of your body? All things in the way of you knowing that, let's come to a result as actually switch you from the source point on all levels of your being aid of precisely because that creates separation between you and your body. So what are the associations that you have with being in the body that causes you to avoid it, to disconnect from it? And sometimes the reason we disconnect from the body when there is abuse, whether it's emotional or physical, on whatever level it is, is because we learn that the body is pain, the body is suffering. It's not safe to be in it. You know, depending on the person, depending on the type of abuse, sometimes we kind of go, I don't want my body. Or based on... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Distorted. Seeing, perceiving, and interpreting of what you went through. Depending on what the abuse was, sometimes the body feels the body has betrayed them. Or blames the body, which is not true. So if there's any of that, can we revoke we now stand because the result is out just which is it from the source point? On all levels of your being, A, W, S, I, C. Okay, so 
your body has the awareness of everything that you've experienced, everything that you went through. It's like um, it keeps record of absolutely everything. And you've been here for however many years you've been here based on your age. You're not going to have the conscious awareness of everything that has occurred in your life. So a lot of things are unconscious. The unconscious is 90 to 95 percent. That means we're not aware of it. There are different levels of there are different levels in the unconscious mind. And a lot of this time, people are not hitting the level that they require to hit in order to create the changes that they need because sometimes things are hidden. But also, it's imprinted into the body. So what is it that you have to see? Let's ask this question and ask your body to show you and help you to release. What is it that is so secret, hidden, deep in the unconscious mind that if you were to be able to access see no acknowledge you could actually transmute that and you could shift change everything in your life that you would like to shift to change and to create and how much power is actually locked inside your body that you're not aware of and let's just ask that your body shows you and all things in the way of you having full clarity this comes to resolve, dissolve, choose what you do from the source plane on all levels of your being aid of us precisely. So I decided I needed to take care of her as one response. Okay, so then to the little girl who decided and actually responded to her environment by stepping into the shoes of the role of what should have been her mother's. What does she believe taking care of mom means, look like, looks like, and is? Let me know. Because or resolve, desire, choose what you do from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS, precisely. I've major physical trauma with diseases I'd overturn, still have spinal disease. Okay, let me go back and just look at your previous comment here. Uh, as a child, I would leave my body every night with premonitions and lucid dreams. Okay. So, well, also you mentioned the psychic abilities. When we've had the physical trauma, we're pushed into parts of the brain. We have to use those parts of the brain that a person who hasn't had that trauma would need to use. And that's a necessity out of safety. So often people who have had things like that, they do have extra extra extraordinary abilities but then anywhere there's any negative associations in the unconscious mind with those abilities let's come to resolve this after what you did it from the source point on all levels of your being age of precisely so then based on the physical abuse what did you decide or conclude about your body what did you believe the body was okay so it's like when we have the abuse where there's the physical the emotional the put downs the gaslighting whatever way shape form it comes That gets stuck on us, okay? So if someone is shouting at you, putting you down, there's a lot of energy behind that and that gets locked into your body. So everything that is locked into your body that is not even yours, that you have been carrying, that is causing pain, disease, suffering, depression, or anything else. Can we cancel resolve desire choose what you do from the source point on all levels of your being age of society? So actually I'm just getting the awareness to just tell your body, body, it's safe to let go of this now. You don't need to hold on to this anymore. And ask the spirit energy within your body, 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 please unlock the awareness, the frequency that is required so that my body really knows it's safe now to let go run the correct frequency through me now and just say please body dissipate it because your body can do it it's actually really really easy all the things in the way of that revoke your now sounds because the result is arches which is from the source point and all levels of your being aid of precisely so it means to save her what does saving look like if it were a description if you could put that in a description for me what would that be okay so when you have the abuse of, it gets locked onto your body but it goes into you and it goes into, your, into goes deep, deep within you. And there can be split, splits that occur on a spiritual level, on a psychological level, and on the, the level of the spirit and the body. And the splits occur because it's almost like you have to put stuff in a box, in a compartment, where you lock it away, 
so that you can go on with your life. So what is it, let's ask, that you have put under lock and key that is causing pain, suffering, disease, depression, anxiety, fear, worry? Because things like fear and worry, they are a consequence of things that are suppressed within you. It's like if a person hasn't got suppressed, a lot of suppressed stuff inside them, okay? In their everyday life, if something, some stress comes up, and kind of deal with it quite well they might get a little angry or sad but it usually passes through it flows through them but where we have all of this suppressed and repressed stuff locked in our body actually when something occurs in the now that gets activated so it's all the other energy and all the things that are locked inside that are being triggered and you're 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 thinking you're choosing and you're acting from there so all of that Let's kind of resolve desire to switch you from the source point on all levels of your being, A, W, C, C. So you were punished for your abilities. There was lots of jealousy. What did you decide or conclude about your body? So or about being in your body. So let's start to unlock everything that has been thrown at your body. Let's kind of resolve desire to switch you from the source point on all levels of your being, A, W, C, C. You know, if you're judged for a certain part of your body, sometimes that gets locked into your body and you will feel that as your own, but it's actually not. So you're seeing your body through the lens of the projection, the energy that is someone else. And also, your body is creative energy. And actually, the beliefs and the energy within it actually are contributing to the physical ma manifestation of it in the now. So all the things that got locked into your body at whatever age that is now a large part of the physical manifestation of your body in the now, that might be some kind of limitation for you. Revert your now, so now it's because of resolve, dissolve. Just what you do from the source point on all levels of your being, age, of your society. But when you experience that abuse, it affects you on a psychological level. It affects you on a mental level. You start to internalize what is being done or told to you. You misinterpret it. You start to believe the lies of what is told to you. And that becomes the narrative that you tell yourself about you. That becomes part of what you believe is your identity, but it's actually not who you really are. So can we cancel resolve disasters, which is either from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So if they dislike the way you looked, what did you decide about being in your body? I'm laughing because I'm asking and we're going in a, a few different places and it might be it might be a little bit of avoidance I don't know it might not be so using your intuition more using the intuition is how you stay safe but also sometimes what occurs is when we have to use the intuition it's like you project yourself on a psychic level into the person who is perpetrating abuse on you and that's how you survive. So you're stepping into their reality. So whose reality have you stepped into that you are still in, you are living, you are choosing, you are acting from? Would you be willing to take your energy out now? So tell your body that it is safe to take it out. And all things in the way of that revoke you now. So now it's because we're resolved, disastrous, which is you from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So you start to believe the lies, you know, you you have these tapes in your head. Maybe you tell yourself you're not good enough, you're stupid, you didn't get anything right, you're wrong. So it affects you on that level. All of these limitations, it's like a, an energetic web is the way I'm seeing it, that is around you, around the body here, all around you. It's like a web. It's a web of limitations. And it's like the spirit energy is trapped in trapped inside so it's like it can't get out of the limitations so all the lies and all the limitations that you taught yourself that you no that's not right that were taught to you about you that you took on as true and all the ways you internalized it can we let it go can we let go of all the false narratives because the result is actually switches you from the source point and all levels of your being aws precisely so one comment is, is they were jealous of me, they disliked how I looked. So then what was the decision or the view that you have of your body and being in your body? Was there any resentment towards your body on any level? Or a feeling that you have to hide certain abilities or capacities or how you look because it's going to cause problems? Was there any rejection of the body? 
See if any of that comes up. So all the ways you have learned to reject and abandon and separate from your body and all the limitations and all the traumas and all the things that is the fuel for that. Can we start to unlock that and can we ask source energy to flow whatever energy is required that is like is going to liquefy that and change that and all things in the way of that is because the result is out which is from the source brain and all levels of your being aids of your psyche. I just have to save her so she heals. She got bad, get all the bad things she is carrying, carrying so she doesn't take her life away. Okay. So then are you taking on a lot of the bad things that she is carrying in her body? You know, if a child or even an adult is trying to save someone or solve someone's problems, even on an emotional level, you'll take that on a lot of the time. So how many of you tried to save one of your parents, your mother, your father or someone else, and you literally took the toxins, the pain, the sickness, the limitation, the disease into your body? Because the result is our choice, which is it from the source point on all levels of your being a WS precisely. So then I would ask, okay, body, what is the worst fear in regards to what would happen if she wasn't there anymore? And what are you carrying inside of you that maybe I'm not aware of that keeps this in place? And how can we unlock it? Would you be willing to help me unlock it now? What are the abilities and the capacities that you have to unlock it? Just ask and it will start to help unlock it. And all things in the way of that revoke the now sounds because the result is all just four inches you from the source point and all levels of your being AWS. So, so any traumas that you went through, that you saw, that you witnessed, where you feared that any of your parents would take their life or not be there. Let's start to remove that and everywhere you're seeing from that, choosing, and, and let's just clear out the fear, the terror, the panic, and everything else. This cancer is out, is out. She switches it from the source brain and all levels of your being made of precisely. So all the roles that you adopted out of the need to survive, saving, caring, fixing, or whatever it was, that you are still locked in that is causing you to still absorb and carry other people, tune into their reality. Oh, let's cancel results, dissolve, just which is it from the source brain and all levels of your being, AWS, precisely. So, all the things that any of you might be avoiding through being connected into the body. So, if you have, if you've experienced physical abuse, there's going to be pain and memories locked in the body. So you leave the body, you disconnect so that you can cope. So part of what can keep the separation in place is the fear of accessing what is stored in the body. But you can say to your body, body, would you be willing to help me to release and heal and transmute what is stored in here in the easiest way? And all of the fear, the terror of feeling what you felt before, which causes the avoidance to being connected to your body, can we cancel the result as our truth, which is you from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So all the ways you're tuning into other people's wants, desires, and needs. And all the ways you are choosing based on that or getting stuck in their reality or in part of their reality, can we bring light and truth and awareness to that? And how can you change that? So ask your body, how can this be changed? Let's cancel it, resolve, dissolve, just which is it from the source point on all levels of your being aids of your psyche. So any patterns to disown, deny, reject your body. Cancel resolve is our choice, which is you from the source point on all levels of your being aid of your psyche. Sometimes we reject the body, we deny the body, and we're not even aware of that. Sometimes we betray the body. And you know, if you look at it, how do you treat your body? How do you speak to your body? Do you speak to your body like a good friend? Or do you speak to your body? in a way that's not nice or cruel or put pressure on your body. 
How many of you are not even really, how many of your buddies don't even really understand what kindness is? So can we instill that in and release all the limitations that does not allow you to be able to hear your body and live with your body in kindness? That's because we're resolved, dissolved, transform your zero from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. So if you are not very nice to your body, ask yourself the question, who who treated me in this way? Sometimes what you're going to find is you're re-perpetrating onto your body something that was done to you. It may not be in the same way. So that might be then, it might play out as you don't listen to your body. You know, maybe you're listening to the energies that are not yours, that you're dialed into and you're choosing based on that. You know, sometimes people eat, overeat because they are very tuned into other people's realities and tuned into their rea their realities and it feels so much so intense and they don't know what to do because they have no other way so far that they have learned of changing it but they'll turn to food or they'll turn to alcohol or they'll turn to relationships they look for a distraction so so actually if if you do that if you next time you feel that Tune into your body and ask your body, what's going on? What are you tuned into? Can you dissipate it? Can you release it? Is there something else here I need to see or know in order to transmute it? And just sit with your body for 10 or 15 minutes, asking it to transmute, communicating with it, and you'll notice something different. So what people might do is they turn to food or drink or people or drugs or whatever it might be, but they're choosing based on something else. They're not actually choosing based on what the body needs. Maybe the body is craving space or craving something else. So then what if you said to the body, can you awaken the frequency that will give me this space? You know, sometimes you're picking up on the projections, the density, the density of what is going on in your life, but in the world. So let's revoke because we're not just from this place you know we're multi-dimensional so you can be picking up stuff from different places as well so you always have to ask what is this body you know a lot of people they'll feel a pain in their body and they'll go oh i heard it in the gym but actually it's something else maybe something got activated in the gym or they feel a pain in their body and they assume it's theirs but actually it's not and within that assumption that it's yours sometimes it gets it locked into the body so what have you all assumed is yours that is not yours at any time that has locked the limitations of others into your body. Can we cancel it, resolve, dissolve, transform, choose it from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely? So if it's emotional pain, you know, okay, how can I transmute this? You know, looking what age should I store this emotional pain in my body and why? Was there space for me to show it? All things in the way of that, revoke, renounce, renounce, because you're resolved, dissolved, you switch, you see it from the source point on all levels of your being. Because if you're in a, in a home where there is abuse, emotional, physical, whatever, you're, you're not allowed to speak, you're silent. So where does that pain go? Well, it can get locked into the bones, it can get locked into the gut. So all of these things then get mapped into the body and then they can cause dysfunction in the body and the processes and the organs of the body. So what else can be released from the body now? Let's consider results as our truth, which is it from the source point on all levels of your being AWS. So part of why we tune in so much to other people is because we're actually really tuned out of ourselves. So we have to get tuned in to what's going on in the body and work with the body in a different way. What happens is, is when you start to detox the limitations and you really awaken and work with the spirit energy in the body and bring it back into union with the body, you act from a space of awareness, you're very aware, and you use your body as a tool to assist you in creating what it is you'd like in your life for yourself and for others. Um, it's locked into the skeleton. Okay, so then ask, well, what is locked in there? And why did you have to lock it in there? And is there anything that wants to be spoken? So what is locked into your skeleton system? What is locked into any other organ of your body that wants to be heard, that wants to be seen, that wants to be acknowledged? And can you acknowledge that now? All things in the way of that. Let's consider resolve, dissolve. 
which is 42 zulu from the source point on all levels of your equilibrium and age of your senses. So you learn to operate in a different way. And it's from a space of just awareness. So then, because you become so in alignment with the body, the spirit and the body become so in alignment. There's so much energetic space within the body and so much awareness so even if someone throws some kind of like energetic knife or whatever at you because you know words have energy associated with it and if someone is saying cruel words to you or behind your back or however it's showing up there's an energy there and that can that can hit you so then that can manifest to say a pain in your body or something around your throat or whatever it might be but when you actually let go of the limitations, you detox the body, bring the body and the spirit back into alignment, you're operating from a space of awareness and space. So you're actually in a different frequency. So you can't be hit. So it's kind of like you're aware of what's going on, but it can't hit you. So how can you get there? All things in the way of that, let's come to resolve to solve your choices from the source brain on all levels of your being, age of precisely. So it can be the stuff that is within us, that is suppressed, that is locked into the body, that is locked into us, that can resonate with an energy that is being thrown at you, that can cause it to stick, and it sticks like Velcro. So one question you can ask the body if this is occurring, why is this, why is this affecting me? What do I need to know? Is there something within me that is allowing it to stick to me? Is there some frequency, because everything is frequency, that is within me and that can be a collection of beliefs and experiences and memories perhaps that is allowing it to attune with it and how can i let that go you know, sometimes the body just needs some acknowledgement as well it just starts to release so let's show you what powers abilities and capacities is in your body that you're not accessing and how you can change your relationship with your body and heal your relationship with your body and all of the falsehood and the lies that you bought about your body as true from someone else can become a resolve to solve. Choose for you to from the source point on all levels of your being age and precisely. You know, a lot of people will actually have feelings about their body and about their self. There's nothing to do with them. It comes from a parent or someone else when they were very little or even more recently. So that's just something to be aware of. You can pick up a lot of other people's limitations and realities. So when it comes down to it, most of it's actually not yours because when you come in, you're just picking up. You're kind of going into all of these energies and these realities. So as you let go of all of this and you reset, you reset that spiritual energy to your body, to be in alignment with your body. It's like little kids, most of them, unless they're sick or, or you know, they've been through something, they're really happy and vibrant and joyful. You know so it's like bringing yourself back to that so how can you do that and all things in the way of that revert me now sounds because result is actually switching from the source point on all levels of your being age of precisely because it's like if if you've had to constantly tune out to be safe and to tune into other people and what is going on and what they're thinking what they're doing and ant anticipating them for whatever reason that is something then it's like um it's a way of being how you've lived your life you know maybe you don't even remember a different way and maybe depending on your circumstances you never learned a different way so by really reconnecting to your body find out finding out what's going on detoxing it and asking it for your help its help and building a different relationship with it you come home to you and you don't need to be outside of yourself all of the time and you know it changes so much so all that rewrite me now so now because it's all to self she switches you from the source plane on all levels of your being age of your society yeah you know my six-year-old is so, so joyful so it's that energy you know so all the ways you were punished for feeling joy and how many of you are suppressing your joy suppressing your light how many of you were punished or you know, experience cruelty or diminished because you were joyful, because you were happy. So you kind of suppress that and then you kind of put on all these masks to fit in. So all the masks that you have 
put on, who you have adopted, and all the energies that you've adopted that are not even your, you so that you could fit in, so that you could survive the craziness around you, can we let that go? Because the result is love. She's going to do it from the source point on all levels of your being, AWS precisely. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Let me know how you're doing. So the first step is really, I would recommend expanding every day like we did earlier. Putting your focus on your body. Start asking your body questions. How are you? What do you need from me? Okay. What would you like to do? What would you like to wear? Where would you like to go? You might get the answer, but you start manifesting stuff, okay? If you want to create something, you can ask your body to help you. But the, the key thing here is really about listening to your body, okay? And, and learning to use your body as a friend, as an asset. Detoxing the limitations, activating the spiritual energy within the body so it can radiate out. Um, and then you can really use your body as a tool and a resource. One comment before we go, when you have too much light, people get jealous. Okay, so then what did you decide about having too much light? And then what is it within the jealousy that you are rejecting and avoiding? Let me know. And we'll do a couple of clearings on that. So guys, drink water. The clearings will continue for the next while. So just to be aware of that. I also wanted to mention I am offering a body class. It's called Heal Your Body, Heal Your Life. It's this weekend. It's live in London in St. John's Wood. Um, and we are also doing it online. So this is about healing your body and healing your life. So what we're going to be doing is looking at, well, what is stored in the body that is, you know, manifesting as pain, suffering, whatever it is, density, you know, where you're tuning into other people's stuff, why, teaching you tools to change this, how you can um, tap into your body and use your body as a resource for you to create what it is you want in your life, money, business, relationships. We're going to be looking at aging as well, you know, the body actually doesn't need to age. So when I was working on someone years back, I saw that every line that people have in their faces or wherever in their body, it tells a story. That story is of your own life experience or it could be ancestral. So all of this stuff gets locked in and handed down to us. And you know, if it's ancestral, you know, if your ancestors went through certain things that were not processed, it can actually impact the way the cell functions and the way in which the body functions. So we're looking at letting all of this go and looking at aging and looking at your beliefs about aging, but actually what causes the body to age? Well, it's the limitations, it's the toxicity, it's the pain, it's all of those things. Because actually the creative life force is just bright, light, creative energy. And the body doesn't have to age, so we're going to be looking at that. We're looking at, you know, how the limitations get mapped into the body and the organs in the body, and we're, we're letting go of that. So it's going to be really good. So there's more to it as well, but, you know, when you feel good in your body, when you feel light, when you're connected to your spirit, when you have all of that, you, you're confident and you navigate your life and your reality in a very different way. That affects your business, that affects your relationships, that affects your money, that affects everything, okay? So we're looking at it from that perspective, but we're also really helping you to tap into the untapped abilities in your body so you can change them. One very important thing is we are doing two hands-on body treatments, which are going to create a lot of change. The first one is about removing grief, pain, sadness, repressed emotions, suffering, and trauma from your body with a simple hands-on process. So this just literally allows all of that. It's like melting away, but actually it's coming out and it's transmuting. And it's a way of releasing for the body that it's easy and you know sometimes people work processing things on a cognitive level and even on an energetic level but there's still stuff locked in the body that needs to come out this is going to help i'm really excited because i can see and feel and know and perceive this class is going to change a lot the second process that we're doing is about awakening that spirit energy in your body and aligning it with your body so we are going to do one process on day one and two on day two 
So those of you in London, you'll do it with me live on the massage tables. Those of you online, you'll do it on yourself online. It can be done on yourself. It's really easy. The latter one, the latter process, I got about six or eight days ago. I've done it about five times. It's absolutely amazing. So I've done it on myself. So yeah, it's really good. The first one also, what people have reported with that first one is because you have the pain and the suffering and whatever else is locked into your cells, it can manifest as excess weight. So people have reported releasing weight. Bye, Michelle. Releasing weight from this. So um, we have that live in London and we have it online. So if you would like to join, I would love to see you there. And I'm going to share the link in Facebook for those of you on Instagram. Uh, if you go to my bio, you will find it there. You can also find it on www.lauramason.co.uk and in the calendar. And the early bird rate for that ends today as well. Okay, so just looking at your comments, I'd love to come see you in person, you beautiful energy. Thank you very much. I'd love to meet you in person, Stephanie. You're welcome, Andrea. And um, you're welcome, guys. Let me just see if I'm missing anything. So yeah, I'm stopping off in London. I'm getting in on Thursday night. I'm doing the class on the weekend. And then I'm off to Mexico for our next retreat, which is a plant medicine retreat. So if anyone would like to join us, we have uh, we definitely have one space left anyway, maybe two. I know someone here is just probably going to be joining us. I'm going to give them a call afterwards. But we've definitely got one, maybe two spots left. So we are starting that the 18th of March, the 24th. Um, it is alchemized and different plant medicines. The plant medicines really allow you to access the unconscious mind and heal in a, in a very, very different way. So I couple that with the alchemized method. We do about 15 hours of that with different plant medicines to help you to create profound physical, mental, emotional, psychological, spiritual healing, whatever it is that in you that you want to change in your life. And there's a lot more to it as well. We're doing different things like massage and um, sound bowls and yoga. And we're having like a medicine on the last day. It's a, we call it like a party. So we're going to start that at like nine in the morning and we're in the pool and we have a fire. So yeah, it's really cool. So we do have that coming up as well. Okay, guys. Yes, Andrea, I love Mexico too. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. All right, guys, I will see you. Bye for now.